building St. Nicholas, uh, Greek Orthodox Church, that was destroyed on 9-11 uh, when the South Tower collapsed on, uh, on the church and then they completely destroyed it. We are building now this uh, beautiful new monument. The church is um, designed by Santiago Calatrava, who took design concepts from uh, Hagia Sophia and Constantinople or modern day Istanbul. So the concept of uh, the design of the church is very similar to the old uh, Byzantine church. So the second floor is a non-denominational space. Any person of any, any faith and creed can go there and pray or meditate if they don't feel comfortable going into the, into the sanctuary, into the nave of the church. In New York City, at the World Trade Center at Ground Zero, you want to be open to all, not just an Orthodox Christian, not to just a Greek. You want to be open to all, whether you're Muslim, Jewish, Hindu, whatever uh, your belief might be, to come here and to pray because you're here in the middle of the financial center that you want to take a, a break, a respite from all the craziness that, that this world has. Church is about open to all, to whoever wants to come in here to pray, to take that time to just disconnect. Part of the second floor also is the bereavement program. And if anybody that lost a loved one during 9-11 or lost a loved one to any affliction uh, today, yesterday, they could come here and talk to one of our staff members, to come in there to, to talk to someone, to, to let out, to give to someone to, to talk about their loss. So what I started is a, um, a process where all the visitors that come here, whether VIPs, friends, or kids, to learn about St. Nicholas, to sign the walls of St. Nicholas, to leave the mark on St. Nicholas. So when, no matter when they come, their names will all forever be part of St. Nicholas. It is an old practice, as, I mean, as far as I know, it goes back hundreds of years, to just leave your mark or, or, or your name on the, the uh, monument like this. Υπότιτλοι AUTHORWAVE